Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we're going to look at getting started with C++ and Windows Forms using Visual Studio 2022. So if you're looking to create a graphical user interface GUI for your C++ application, then you're in the right place. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So first things first, we need to ensure that we have the necessary component installed in Visual Studio 2022. So to do so, let's go ahead and open the Visual Studio installer. So as you can see, I've got the Visual Studio installer open. So if you have it open, then let's click on the modifier. So here, we have to make sure that we install the .NET development, desktop development. So this will actually help you build WPF, Windows Forms, Console App, and whatnot here. Yeah? And once you have this installed, make sure you also install this bit here, uh, desktop development with C++, yeah? So if we click on it, check on it, yeah? you get all the necessary components installed, but you have to scroll down and make sure that you have a you have you have installed that C plus plus CLI supports. Okay, so make sure you have this installed as well. Make sure you select this and you install it. Okay. So once you once you're done with that bit here, yeah, then obviously you can click on the modify. So this will actually install while downloading. So once you finish with that, yeah. Then we can close the Visual Studio installer. And then we launch the Visual Studio. So now let's create a new project. So as you can see here now, we've got all the languages selected. So make, let's select uh, the C++ language so if you if you if you go through what I, what I, I told you earlier on by installing the uh the c plus uh, plus desktop development with c plus plus yeah you will be able to get this okay so let's scroll down and look for cll empty project dot net framework okay make sure because we have to the one is the dot net core and we've got the .NET framework. Make sure you select the, the .NET framework, okay? Let's click on the next. Here, obviously, you can, you can configure your project details like the project name and the location of the project and your solution name. Yeah, we're not gonna look too much into that. So let's go ahead here yeah, and click on the create. So now, as you can see, we've got an empty C++ project created for us. So with our project created, we need to configure it. So let's let's go to the project. Let's click on the project bit here and go inside the, the project property. So here, let's select the linker. Yeah, and then let's expand it and select the system. So under the subsystem, Let's select Windows to target the Windows, the Windows, yeah, system the Windows, yeah. And then let's go to the advanced. So here the entry point here. Yeah? Let's put main as our entry point. Yeah. And let's click on apply. And okay. So once we do that, as you can see, we've got a bunch of we've got a bunch of references. That will, that will show up. So let's go ahead and build the project now. So let's right click it and build the project. So right now we've, we've successfully built the project. So as you can see, we don't have any dependencies. So let's go ahead and right click the project again and add new item. So this this actually dialog or this um, 
this dialog will open. So let's click on the UI. So here we can add uh, Windows Forms, okay? So let's click on the Add Windows Forms. So as you can see here, once we add the Windows Forms, this is what we get. So and this is like we get in this error as well. So to resolve that, yeah, let's click on the, let's go to the source files, yeah, and then click on the my my form .cpp. So here we're going to add our main method, yeah. So I've I've actually I'm going to to paste it. So this is the method that we're going to add, okay. So, so you got to make sure that you add this. Have a look at it. Pause the video and add it. So as you can see, we're getting this error because this is the project here. So the project is project four instead of project three here. So I'm going to change it and we, the error is going to disappear. Okay. So as you can see here now, we don't have any error. So let's save it and let's right click on the project and build it again. So as you can see, we've got the build succeeded. So let's go to the error list. So we still have this error showing. So let's let's wait. So as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of references added added to our reference. So let's go to the header and click my form dot h here. So as we can see here, we still have this error showing. So let's close this page. Let's close this here, and then open it again. So as you can see here now, we have the form being shown here now. So as you can see, we've got the form created for us now. So let's go ahead and add something, a two to it. So as you can see, here, we don't have any two here. So let's go to view and the toolbox. Okay, so let's open the toolbox and our windows. So let's look for the button. Let's drag and drop the button here. So as we can see here now, right now we've got the button added to the to the form. So let's double click it. So if we double click it here, this is what we get. We've got this event handler here. So uh, for this here, if you want to handle the click event, yeah, you can come inside here and and handle your click events. Yeah, but we're not going to look too much into that because this just to get us started here. Yeah? But before I sign off here, let's go ahead and run it and see what actually comes out of it, okay? But before we do, actually, let's go ahead and run it. So as you can see here now, we have, we have the form Open. So it's very simple to get us started in terms of creating a, um, a, a Windows Forms UI with C++. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave it here for you to explore further. Yeah. And please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you uh, you press the bell button as well. And if you're not a member. I suggest you sign up for a membership because uh, I've got lots of videos coming up and I've got a lot of perks for members. Okay, so have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.